copper hardness test is used to test the um, hardness of a material by indentation. This machine here is a CV600A, which is a hardness tester, and it's got two scales. It's got the scale C and scale B modes. Um, scale C is it uses a diamond indenter like this one. It measures materials like quenched steel, tempered steel, more of the harder materials. Whereas the scale B, um, scale B measures aluminium, alloys, copper, malleable, cast irons, but that one uses a steel ball indenter. Material like mild steel, um, this is used as a calibration test piece to check that the machine's in working order and uh, is up to calibration. It's got, it's got numbers written on here uh, that specifies its actual hardness. This is mild steel, so we'll be using a scale B indenter with a steel ball. So firstly, you want to put it into the, to the holding chucks and tighten it with the knob provided. Okay, next, we want to put the workbench uh, that we'd be putting the specimen onto. These can come in various different shapes because you, know, you might have a rod that you want to try and test. So with a B-scale indenter, you also, you, first of all, you have to apply a minor load and then a major load. The major load has preset settings on the, on the side of this machine and we just make sure that it is reading 980. Uh, you have a specification sheet that shows you the loading, the minor and major loadings of different scales. Next we'll put our test specimen onto the bench and use the, uh, the feed handle to bring it all the way up to the ball and denter. Find a nice flat spot on the indenter and just let it touch the surface of the test material. By turning this feed handle, we'll apply the minor load by allowing the, the small needle to touch the red dot. So once that's there, we've applied the minor load. If we're using the B-scale indenter, we have to look at the inside reading of the dials. So we want to position the big needle so it hits zero on the red scale. This machine is hydraulically controlled, so it's got the uh, major load configuration setting here. So once you've applied and calibrated the dials, you can apply the major load by simply just pushing it down. Then you wait for the needle to settle. And release the load. From this specific test that we've done now, um, we have this uh, material and it's given us a number on the B scale. That number represents the Rockwell hardness number. It's also very good to do this test three to five times just to get a good average for the hardness of the material. Thanks for watching.